Hi everybody, welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. I'm Vicky and today I'm gonna show you guys how to throw a super simple party. Now I'm gonna go over like tips and tricks and how to find like the perfect accessories for your event on a budget. Basically I'm gonna take you through my thinking process and how I come up with a theme, the decor, and how I get everything at a really good price. So let's get started. So when I get started with an event, I like to come up with a theme. I have an idea in mind. So as we know, this is going to be a 1950s party. The next thing I like to do is I like to specify like who, like what's the audience, I guess, for this event. And we are going to be doing it for children. So now I know that everything has to be very colorful, has to be vivacious, and it has to really draw the eye of the kids that um, the event is intended for. Now, the next thing, we're going to kind of map out what I want it to look like. Now there's two types of parties. There's something simple where it's like a little gathering, and then there's something that's a little bit more dramatic with tables, like wedding stuff. So there's different types of parties. So this one specific is more like a tiny little setup. So. We're just gonna do a setup so there's not gonna be tables, there's not gonna be further decor. So we're just gonna concentrate on one specific area. So I'm gonna map out what I want it to look like. The first thing I'm gonna map out is what I want the space to look like. Now, I'm not an artist by any means, so bear with me. So I'm trying to look for some sort of backdrop um, and I want it for sure to have I don't know, like a jukebox because I am sticking to the 1950s party. So I want a jukebox. Um, I like maybe like 1950s tables with the bar stools because when I have like a table set up, I feel like, I don't know, it's just 1950s. So I'm thinking almost like Johnny Rockets. Something I really love about the 50s is the checkered, the checkered print. I love that checkered print, the black and white. So if I can incorporate it somehow, um, I like that. I'm looking for black, hot pink, white, and um, maybe like a teal or a mint green. I feel like those are the colors that really embody the 1950s. I'm thinking of a clock. I don't know why. It just comes to mind like that song, one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. So, uh, I don't know, a clock. Um, let me see what else. I don't know, something that really embodies the 1950s. Now, I can go about it two ways. I can get a backdrop, um, I can buy props. Um, the thing with props is, unless you have a place to store them, it becomes very difficult. The thing I love about backdrops is, you can get some sort of like um, PVC pipe, and then you can roll up the backdrops, label it on the outside, and you can have them um, like standing upward, and you can store them easily. So I may go with a backdrop. Now, if I decide to go with a backdrop, I'm gonna need flooring. And if I do flooring, I'm either looking at like wood, which is not very 1950s, but I can work with it. Um, I know that in Home Depot, they sell the little planks of wood that are sticky. Um, they also sell tiles that are sticky, so I could probably do like that checkerboard effect. It's just very costly and time consuming to put together rather than just like another backdrop. So I'm either gonna look for wood or checkerboard flooring. Now, I want to create a diner look. So I'm thinking of on the flooring adding um, maybe like a diner table. So I'm gonna look everywhere, but diner tables are extremely expensive. So it, I'm kind of up in the air with it, but I do want to create some sort of like, I don't know, uh, even if it's a small table with those red leather chairs, um, maybe like the little napkin holders or one of those little tabletop um, jukeboxes, maybe like a shake to give it that 1950s vibe. I don't know, but that's kind of like the setup. So now that I have mapped it out, I'm going to also write out elements that I need to include. One of them being music, the next one being food. I try to incorporate all the senses because me personally, the way I feel is if all of my senses have been um, 
I don't know, like if I've been able to use all of my senses for an event, I feel like I've really done it. So clearly you have the sense of sight where you're seeing everything put together. The colors really draw your attention. Um, touch, that's why I wanna have some sort of prop, like the table, because I feel like if you can touch it and you, I don't know, you feel like you're just there. Then the sense of hearing, I wanna incorporate music, the sense of taste, I wanna incorporate food, um, and then the food will also bring up the sense of smell. So I try to incorporate, and that's another tip of mine, try to incorporate all five senses into your event. Make people feel like they're there. So like I told you before, I may not be the best artist, but my idea, my map, my plan is sketched out. Now it's time to go on the hunt. The first place I like to search for always is Amazon for backdrops because they are quick. Um, I also have to plan this event on Amazon Prime Time, meaning I have to finish this planning in about an hour and a half, two hours, because if I take any longer than that, I cannot guarantee that I'm gonna get the things that I need. So I plan based off of Amazon Prime Time. So we are here on the Amazon website, and the first thing I'm gonna look for is 1950s backdrops. Yes, I love it. And as you can see, it has the the flooring I want. So that, that would be super easy for me to just like drag. And it's sufficient to where I can fold it and like have it finish. And maybe I can even find, this is it. Yep, adding it to the cart. <gasps> Perfect, okay, we have a checkerboard backdrop, Amazon Choice. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. It is $18, seven feet by five feet. That's it, that's the one I'm gonna get. So we have the backdrop, we have the flooring. Now we have to concentrate on the main item, which is going to be really what ties everything together, the furniture piece. So let's look for a diner table. Star Diner, that's perfect. Remember what I said, you have to keep the audience in mind. If this were for adults, I would definitely not do this because this is not something that would be fitting, but because this is for kids, you have to make sure you aim for that. Perfect, it has the checkerboard in the back, it has the little um, uh, jukebox that I want in the table, it has a menu, the little diner chairs, guys, this is exactly what I want. Now the situation with this is the diner is $125. I'm not gonna spend $125, so I'm gonna find it somewhere else. Um, and it has great reviews so that I know that I can trust this. It's Melissa and Doug, so you know that's good furniture for kids. I'm gonna try to find this somewhere else. So now that I know what I want, I'm going to go to one of my favorite apps to buy and purchase props, OfferUp. So now OfferUp, um, owns let go so if you have things that you want to find on let go and offer up they're the same place now so I'm gonna click on my offer up app and I'm gonna start searching for that little diner so excited after being on the search for this little diner for a few hours I wound up finding it I offered the seller $25 and he said as long as I pick it up within the first few hours I can have it for 25 and guys you cannot imagine how happy I was when I picked it up for $25 this is incredible there was a kitchen on the opposing side the diner on the other a little nick here and there but nothing too dramatic it was perfect and now with the backdrop, I loved it. It even had a little hoop all the way up top where you can insert the background and you don't have to clip it or anything like that, which, which is just a phenomenal bonus.